Welcome to Desi Astro channel. Today we are going to discuss probability distributions in astrophysics. Probability distributions play a crucial role in astrophysics for modeling various phenomena, analyzing data and making predictions. Here are some key areas where probability distributions are applied in astrophysics. So the first area is photon and particle statistics. So Poisson distribution is generally used for modeling the arrival of photons in a detector, example, X-ray or gamma ray observations. Since photon arrivals are random, Poisson statistics help determine the expected count rate and its uncertainty. Poisson distribution is used when dealing with discrete independent events occurring in a fixed interval of time or space, such as photon detections in a telescope. Example, a gamma ray detector like AstroSat CZTI receives an average of 100 photons per second. The actual count fluctuates around this value following a Poisson distribution. The next distribution is Gaussian distribution. When the photon count is high, the Poisson distribution approximates a Gaussian, which is often used for error analysis. Example, uh, the background noise in X-ray astronomy is often modeled as Gaussian. Now, what do you mean by the term normal distribution? Normal distribution is also known as Gaussian distribution and it is the type of distribution which is symmetric about the mean. What is now skewed distribution? So, a skewed distribution takes place when one tail is longer than the other. There are different types of skewed distribution. Left skewed distribution with or negative skewed distribution, it occurs when the long tail is on the left side of the distribution. Right skewed distribution or positively skewed distribution, it occurs when the long tail is on the right side of the distribution. Next area in which this uh, probability distribution is applied is brightness and luminosity distribution. Now, the first one is power law distribution. So, man, many astrophysical sources such as quasars, GRDs, and cosmic ray energy spectra follow power law distribution. Example, the flux distribution of GRBs, where bright GRBs are rare but faint ones are common. They follow the power law distribution. Next is Stetter function. It is used to describe the luminosity function of galaxies in a given volume. It is used to describe the number densities of galaxies per unit luminosity. Next distribution is in the field of cosmology and large scale structure. So, first distribution is Gaussian random field. The temperature fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background are well described by a Gaussian distribution. The cosmic microwave background temperature fluctuations are modeled as a Gaussian field. The power law spectrum of these fluctuations follow a Gaussian distribution around a mean value. Next is the log normal distribution. So log normal distribution is often used to describe the density fluctuations of matter in the universe. Example, dark matter distribution is simulated <coughs> using a log normal distribution. Next field in which the distribution is applied is orbital mechanics and gravitational waves. So the first kind of distribution that is used is Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution. So Maxwell-Boltzmann distribution is used for modeling the velocities of stars in a galaxy. Example, it is used in studying the motion of stars in clusters. Next is chirp mass distribution. In gravitational wave astrophysics, the mass distribution of merging binaries often follow a power law or log normal distribution. The distribution of binary black hole masses detected by LIGO-Virgo follows a power law. Example, 
mass distribution of merging black holes. Next distribution is applied in the field of gamma ray bursts, GR, that is GRBs and transients. So, log normal distribution, often used to describe the duration and energy of GRBs. The duration T90, that is the time in which 90% of burst energy is emitted, follows a log normal distribution. For example, the short GRBs, which last for less than 2 seconds, and long GRBs, which are lasting for greater than 2 seconds, can be distinguished based on this. Then the beta distribution. So beta distribution can be used for modeling polarization fraction of GRBs. GRB polarization fraction are modeled as a beta function. It is used to model polarization detected by astrosat CZTI. The last this kind of distribution that we have is parameter estimation in Bayesian inference. Posterior probability distribution which includes Bayesian methods used in probability distributions like Gaussian, student's T distribution and Jeffrey's priors for inferring astrophysical parameters. Posterior distributions are often used for estimating GRB spectral parameters using Monte Carlo Markov chain methods. That's all about the different types of distributions used in astrophysics. See you next time. Thank you for watching.